So to understand and understand the secondary structure of friction, you need to actually understand something about the physics of the secondary structure, how they're formed. In principle, you have two main op forces opposing to some for example. It's a side, cha side chain conformation entropy, so basically you want to have as much flexibility as like that. And you have the main chain hydrogen bonding. And if you just take this into account, you will see, for instance, see that the valine has a, has a band side chain would not be as favorable to be in a helix compared to an aniline. So you will have aniline losing nice and losing valine. So aniline is more favorable. And, uh, however, there are also other factors, such as like you have a, that are polarity, and you also have even preferences to be in the L-terminal and C-terminal part of the helix because of the, the um, dipolar moments. Uh, so, helix of course needs form hydrogen bonds between I and I plus 3, that's what we use. And that of course, uh, for instance, limits the flexibility of a valine. While in a beta sheet, the valine can be more flexible. So, if you have, I mean, as a preference in helix, if you look at that, you take the first and last edge, you see that there are some preferences. For instance, you can see that you have. Uh, uh, aniline and leucine are the most common amino acids in all positions, but towards this, the C terminal you have more lysines than you have in the N terminal because of the dipolar moment. And you, for instance, have um, glycines, so the flexibility are actually not that rare at the terminal of the helices. So, the, so the position 1 and 9 are lost in the 5 is middle of the helix, here. while they are quite, quite rare in the middle of the helix, except for that. Mm. And of course, it's the same as, as the license, the charge of the negative charge of mean, are more preference in the, in the end term. In the beta sheet, of course, you have two types of sheets mainly, alpha parallel and parallel, also a mixture of these. And then, of course, they're limited, but at the size of the side chain points out, they can be quite flexible unless it interacts with something else in the protein. So that's why valence are preferred here. So you can see here, if you do the same preference, the logo here, you see the valence are most popular in the middle, and the glycines are most popular at the ends. And uh, well, leucines are also quite popular in the middle, but less popular at the ends. And then there are for specific patterns for specific turns, for instance. You have type 1 and type 2 reverse turns and beta happy turns, and therefore they have particular glycines in particular positions. That's the only way to have this flexibility. So generally in coil preferences, if you take that in together, you have glycine is the most frequent amino acid, but and also problems frequent, but also all many other amino acids are there.